Hey there, Penapon Saucepan. It's a really weird timing, and I'm doing this at a really weird time of day. But it is time to, I think, to do this. To do do the next selection of game. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like Banjo, too. There's, like, something like less than two weeks left, right? And uh, the only game afterward uh, in the selection that's picked up is the uh, arcade double feature. And that's also not very long. And one of these events lasts a week. So I just kind of want to be sure. I just want to make sure that I'm not stuck in a weird way. Anyways, it's just fun. And we're going to start with a showstopper. If you are a Panapon, you may opt in. And once you're opt in, you are opt in. You don't need to re-opt in. If you get picked by the wheel, you got to give me three games. And then amongst those three... I'll choose one, and then when I choose one, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. That part is simple. You may accuse some of my processes to be complicated, but this part I feel is very simple and straightforward. Mrauf! Oh, now that's a name. Oh, hey. So we were playing together in some of the tabletop games like early when we had those. And, uh, you know, occasional pops into the Patapon. Well, hopefully you'll pop in to give me your games because I am genuinely super curious what those could be. Like, that's the fun part about these, right? Is that I just don't know what to expect. And I just don't know really what you're going to offer. So three games, give them to me. I'll pick one of them eventually, soon. <laughs> eventually soon. Uh, but that's not all. All right, I have added everyone else. You can see they're all kind of at the end here. All past royal winners may participate in the court. Now I will roll a five individuals, and each of these individuals will give me one game. And I'll pick amongst one of these five games. That has led to something like very special picks up to now. I mean, Betterified is a court pick. God Hand is a court pick. Current Cave Story is a court pick. There's a start. Five names. Uh, you can win a chance. Well, one fifth of a chance to have one game played, maybe. That's okay, I guess. Five picks out of 240. Oh, geez. Rixie! Yo! Rixie. No, wait. <laughs> I'm currently playing Benjo Tooie because of you. Well, <laughs> if you want to put yet again a game in my face for like the fifth time, you have to. Those are the rules. Rixie has been, you know, involved with a lot of Maggle wins, like all the Mafab wins. It's always Rixie in Chaoxix. So, you know, I've uh, played uh, um, Ghost Story because of y'all, but also I'm currently playing Banjo-Tooie because of y'all. It happens away. It happens often. Looking forward. I Look, you can, you can let... Look, I just need a game from you. I don't care where you get it from. It doesn't matter. I just need one game. Oh, I didn't press done. I was supposed to press done to remove you and your name from this. It's fine. If you win again, I'll just... It won't count. You can only win once. I might play around with the RNG a little bit. It's fine. Belmore! Uh, okay, Belmore, huh? Okay, okay. Oh, when you press done, it doesn't remove it. Oh, okay. You, you need to press off the list. Got it. Next. Uh, click the spin, and then the wheel spin, and then some things spin, and your eyes go spin, and you fall in the hole. And you die, well then you come back cause you gotta watch to see if you get back. So you know, give it some time, it's Sky! I'm curious to know what Sky is gonna put in front of my eyeballs. The way I said it like that is because Sky has been angling for a very particular game, but also she has said that she would not necessarily give it if she was ever chosen as a proper royal. But this is court. It's a little bit different. You know, and I think she understands now that I am not going to play every game that is in my... Um, my bucket list is just too big. Like, it's just, it is, uh, it is cinematically and mathematically impossible for me to play everything that is there. So what do we do with that? I don't know. 
Doesn't matter. I'm just saying things. I'm adding flavor so it's not just a robotic press button to spin and then look at clouds, you know? It's just, no, you know, you gotta do some kind of conversation between spin sometimes. Uh, Whoa, it's a conger bim, the conger bim, it's you. I have less idea about what you would offer, like, at all. Uh, I feel like everyone else, I kind of have an idea. You, a complete mystery. The Kungerbind. It's, it's like... It's like Burger King. But like, you put all the letters wrong? That's how you end up with the Kungerbind. Don't think about it, it's fine. <laughs> Not thinking is great! Uh, Whoa, check it out, at El Tio Lavara 9, and it's you, you're the last one, you're the fifth of five, even though there's a nine in your name. And check it out, just as a little summary, Ralph, you are the next royal, give me games, give, you gotta give me three games. I'm gonna pick one of them, I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna have fun, or else. Rixie, Belmore, Sky, Kungerbin, then El Tio Lavara 9. Y'all give me one game, and I'm gonna choose amongst those, and I'm gonna play it. <laughs> when it's, it, when it's, it's time. So, uh, you know, if, if one of you give me a Mario, and I choose it, it will go on the unofficial, unsanctioned, temporary, a side extension that is going strong and if you don't you don't it's all good i am looking forward to the pile of game names that get thrust into my face talking about gameless though no gimmicks i want to spin i desire to spin and so we shall be spinning here is a list of 648 games it's not all games some of them are little meta games some of them are little fun things but it's a big list of games and i'm gonna roll it five times and uh, y'all are gonna have to go and vote remember vote remember to click on the link on the Patapon post, there's gonna be a link that says vote here or something. It's gonna get you to a website that you use and you need to like, you know, it's you gotta put your preference, which one you prefer, which one you least prefer, and a whole gradient in between. Hopefully it's a bit more of a contest. <laughs> Galaxy, T Galaxy 2 kinda crushed everything last time, which is, you know, not too surprising. I haven't started it yet, mainly because Bedrified is a very, very big game. But it's ending soon, and it starts with The Way of the Samurai. Ah, so it's a PlayStation 2 game. Yeah, so it's PlayStation 2, so there isn't really, like, much of, like, a... a trailer, but we do have long play, but I think it's the game... Uh, shorts, get out of here. But it's the greatest game you've never played, apparently. Uh, except that's the fourth one. This is, we're looking at the first one here. I mean, you can see here, completely... So, yeah. So, this is the game I thought. So, this is a unique game. It's like an RPG-ish game-ish. Like, you play as a samurai. And, like, you wander into town. And there's, like, multiple endings. But, you know, like, at the end of the day, like... like but each playthrough is, like, an hour-ish. And it's like, yeah, it's like a whole day. You get here. You leave. Whatever. Like, it does sound fascinating. Way of the Samurai. Like, I, I genuinely think it's fascinating. The thing is, I don't want to click on a long play or something. I will provide a link to a, uh, a long play to, to so you can look at it. I'm doing a terrible job um, selling the game because I know... I don't know a lot about it on purpose because I don't want to know too much about it, right? Because I want to play it. I always thought a game looked really fascinating. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a case where me, the person presenting the list, purposefully don't really know anything about it, which makes it difficult to talk about, you know, to 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 sell it. Unfortunately, but we have the samurai. Yeah, so like it's a, it's a game of your samurai. It's like a it's like an RPG, I guess, but like not an RPG like a JRPG, but like menu fights, like like it's probably direct action. But you play the role, you know, you play a role. It's an actual role-playing game, not stats menu game. It's an actual role. A game of playing a role. Jet Set Radio. Okay. 
that's kind of weird, but sure. Sega. Hey, it's that logo. I remember it. So Jet Set Radio is a vandalism game. What's well, a tagging game on rollerblades? I don't know if the game is good, but the attitude though is so good though. Like the style, like it is so aggressively Gen X, but I love it. it looks so neat. I, I don't know how I would play it. Uh, I don't know what's the best way to play this game in 2023. But I'm sure there's some way I can do it. Yeah, I don't know on what that is. Ah, oh, the style is so good. It's like really, really, really crunchy um, uh, cell shading. And I, I just think it looks so fantastic. Okay, so that's when it came to that. But it's older than that though, right? Yeah, the original is on Dreamcast. I could refigure out Demuel and play it. Or if there's another version that's better. Let's see, Wikipedia? Let's see, Dreamcast. It says there's a version on Windows, but I don't know if it'd be available for me. I figure out. If, if, if it wins, I'll, I'll play the Java ME version. <laughs> no, I won't. If it wins, I'm probably going to try and figure out Demuel. But we'll cross that line if we get there. But no, because I, again, the game is like super stylish, looks super rad. I think it's a game in like in the style of uh, Tony Hawk, maybe, which is a style of game I've never played. So it would also be experimenting uh, for me on a completely new style of game, and that can be very scary. Okay, it's radio. That's like a remake. Yeah, it just no. Okay, it was re-released. Hmm. 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 We got two games. Let's make a three. In my list, Way of the Samurai has proper capitalization, but Jet Set Radio is all small letters. Does that mean anything? Not really. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. It's fine. That's what makes it good. Down purr. Is that a mistake I did? Or is it really Down Purr? No, Down Purr is right there on YouTube. And I've looked at it. So I'm guessing that this was a game from the Cat Advent from last year. That's probably it. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this then. The music is so soft. Why is the volume so low? Wow, this... <laughs> Now that I am currently playing Cave Story, I'm like, wow, this is Cave Story. <laughs> it's about cats uh, jumping amongst the flowers in the meadows, and there's wizard. Oh, look at that! You got like varied spells. Uh, and that cow said meow. That one also. That one said heh. I think one of them said normal. Cats normally don't say normal. Cats a, a bore a normal. Oh, the framing is bad, and you can't see the top of the screen. Sorry about that. Okay, so you like, there's like, okay, so, okay, so, yeah, it looks a little bit like, like, hey, sorry, but, like, it looks like it's a game where you gotta hoard these cat. then there's a massive laser cat, uh, and a sick, uh, okay, things are getting serious here, cloud cat stole your cat, what does that mean, I don't know, water cat with a laser fish, yo, big face, I'm, I'm digging this, this looks really cool, Okay, no, yeah, okay. So, something for the sprite enthusiasts. Or also, you know, playing more like what you would consider to be platformer. Uh, something, word. I feel like I was going somewhere with that sentence. But then I didn't. Then I just stopped going. The, s the going just ended. Abruptly. There is no more going in any direction. I think it looks neat though. Why is that thing like highlighted? How does that happen? Tiny Thor. Wow, we are just like, okay. Well, I already watched apparently the official gameplay trailer, so let's watch it again. No, I remember this being linked to me one day. Look how nice this game looks. This is Sprite Art the video game. See, you're playing this little guy. He's got a big hammer though, relatively speaking. And, uh, lots of air dashes. 
this looks Celeste and Spiral. Oh, well, we got like a big sprite map. And we got buzzy music, which I. Control Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. If you want me to mispronounce Norse terms? This is the game you gotta vote for. <laughs> Honestly, it remind the graphics remind me a lot of Owlboy, actually. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. Ooh, we got, like, movement puzzles and penguins, too. Oh, that is a lot of frogs. Okay, it's like a battle room, so guys, those are there. Whoa, hammer down! All abilities, all right? If you don't, I don't know. Okay, see, look at that. We're getting a this. Okay, this is getting really silly, actually, in a way that I can appreciate. We got swinging. We got my video, like, playback is obviously at a low res resolution. This thing looks a bit mushy, sorry about that. Look at that, bob that box, that's right. Bob more box to hit some switch and get... Man, you're starting to show a lot, actually. <laughs> show less! Oh no, now you're showing cool bosses? Uh, oh, that poor octopus, I'm so sorry. Whoa, laser eyes. Uh, no, isn't, like, does that not look extremely... Oh boy. Well, Tiny Thor! It's apparently out. It was released in June. This was probably older than that. Six months ago, which is more than June. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. One last spin for the road. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything until I got all five. So, I'm waiting for the fifth one to show up. Rusted Moss? Rusted Moss... Features a lady with doing a thing with her hand. Uh, oh, that, that is looking a lot like, um... Momodora, actually. Oh yeah, that totally looks... Okay, uh... Which one is the best one? I don't know, release date trailer? Sure, official... Update, I don't know, man. I was just gonna do this one. Oh, that looks really nice. Well, I mean, that that's like animation for cutscenes, probably. <laughs> Is that the moss? Yeah, see, it totally looks like it's Mamadora with a gun! And a grapple hook from your little demon eyeball buddy. Oh, this looks super rad, too! Oh, what? <laughs> oh, that's a map. It's one of those games. <laughs> Oh, it's a bullet hell, maybe, too! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that looks super cool! Oh, jeez, you got a collection page, so you gotta be careful about your collection. Get dipped! That's right. We got Boz there. There's Pestilence. It's a worm thing. And here's Alicia. She's a lady with, like, massive swords. Oh, I am digging this. I am digging what is shown to me here. This looks super rad, cool, rad. Rusted Moss, that's a cool name too. Like, it doesn't make sense, but it's rad. Look at that style. There's a ghost lady girl, if you're into that. Whoa, spooky. Rust, that looks super cool. Available a few months ago. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, oh, we got, we got, we got pre-ending. Look at that, I see you're dragging a little Octorok. I'm gonna eat this Octorok, but it's a robot, so you're just gonna break your teeth if you do that. And those are the five games. There are no Mario Galaxies in this list. No clear-cut winner at all. And I love it. I love that. I love that there's no clear-cut winner. I have no clue. Um... I'm sort of getting an idea of what's, you know, tickling my brain a little bit more, a little bit less, but I'm not going to say anything naturally. That wouldn't be fair. Remember to vote! This is a vote that's going to matter because, yeah, th that, that is an eclectic collection of games that are very, that, you know, they're a bit, I, they're either more obscure or just outright just like little, littler known. And uh, I bet all of them, are like all of them look absolutely like a ton of fun. Choose, vote, vote, it's important. You get a week. These always last for a week. And uh, once the week is over, I'm gonna open up the thing so people can look at the results. Meanwhile, also, Mrauf, three games. Rixie, Belmore, Sky, The Kongerbund, and El Tio Lavara 9.
give me one game each. I'm gonna choose amongst them. Oh, and for my fourth pick, you know, I also get, you know, we get the R pick, the R zone. Uh, I have one more game left, a Sonic game that I downloaded for 2010 that I didn't play yet. And I, I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna play that so that it's played, and I feel okay about deleting it from my hard drive. It's a, it's a Sonic game from 2010. It's not a mainline Sonic game. Get hype! I think it looks fun. And the direct sequel of that game is a game that a lot of people love. So I bet that one's going to be a lot of fun too. Whatever. I'm going to enjoy myself and you can't stop me. I'm pressing the stop recording button now. Have fun, y'all!